Today I'm going to be turning a pen. I've got a kit here. It is uh, basically it's a bolt action pen, but it's uh, it's pirate it's pirate related, which is different. Um, I got about four of these kits. I've already turned one. Uh, just use the regular bolt action bushings, which are on here. I got this extension bushing too, which gets me further away from this, so I don't hit that. Be nice to have one on this side too, but maybe maybe that's something to get later. Um, so. Wood I find is generally super easy to turn, fingers crossed. I use this tool here, it's my roughing gouge and uh, it's always good to keep it sharp so you've got a nice sharp edge so it cuts and uh, basically this should turn down very quickly and then we're going to talk about sanding and we're going to talk about a CA finish. We're going to put a CA finish on and then we're going to use uh, Yorkshire grit and then we're going to go to the buffing wheel to get a brilliant shine. So uh, this is figured walnut, so I'm hoping it should be quite nice. So let's see how this is. Speed is up high. I got my safety glasses on. That is the turning portion done. I've got it down to the bushings both sides and a little bit of a little bit of a con concave no sorry convex shape to it a little bit. Um, we're going to sand it now. Now ideally you want to get a nice smooth finish right off of the tool like this. If you've got all kinds of gouges and tool marks then uh, you need to get rid of those. If you can't get rid of them with a, with a tool then you need to get rid of them with your lowest grit of sandpaper. Um, you can start wherever you want. If you want to start at 40 or 60, you can, but ideally, the better finish you get off of the tool, the less sanding is involved and the much more pleasant uh, of an experience that you'll have turning. So uh, I will generally start at 150, in this case, and uh, work my way up uh, 150, 220, 320, 400. I might even go six and 800 because I want the finish to be really nice underneath the CA as well. And then I'll use the Yorkshire grit on top of the CA finish. So I'll bring my speed down a bit. I'll turn my uh, extractor on and then we'll, we'll sand this down. <laughs> It's at this point that if you had tool marks, you would notice it on here because you'd have light marks and dark marks where the sandpaper isn't touching the blank. So that's already fairly smooth. What you need to do though is sand like this. Once you've got that to where you want it, sand with the grain along the length of the end length. This gets rid of the spiraling scratches that you often see. I'm 
on some some pens around there. This can help prevent that. Once you've got once you've got rid of those, if there are any, then you can move up. I'm going to go to 320. Uh, sorry, to 220. scratches when you're using 220, 320 because it's really getting fine at that point. But if you're starting at a lower grip, you're going to really notice those scratches. Okay, so we're going to go with the green again. With the lathe stopped. going backwards and forwards now because there's no scratches at all not entirely true there are scratches but they're so fine 
there's 1500 grits per square inch on this sandpaper which gives you a very very fine finish but like I said you have to make sure you get rid of those scratches earlier on so let's just zoom you in for a minute okay that's really close now I'm going to take some denatured alcohol and a clean fresh piece of paper towel and remove any sawdust from the surface and the tooling that's around it. Get rid of all of that. Perfect. Now I can go ahead and start using my CA finish. So my CA of choice is always uh, Starbond. You want the thin CA and uh, also I'm using the accelerator which basically allows you to get six or eight or ten coats on in just a few few moments. This is gonna be quick guys so uh, you wanna basically wipe it on and drop that paper towel because it gets very hot so I'm going to bring the speed down slow it's about 275 there drop it on the pen and wipe underneath that's underneath now drop that paper towel in a metal bucket and give this a little bit of a squirt with the accelerator Now I'm going to do another coat, so that's coat one, same thing, coat two, get that paper towel on the floor or in the metal bucket right away, because it does get hot. And the fumes are not very good either, the fumes are pretty bad. I usually have the uh, extractor running when I'm doing the CA finish, but it's hard to hear me. That's th is that three or four? I've lost track. Three or four that was. It wouldn't hurt if you did eight, ten, twelve. It, it doesn't hurt. But what you got to do, and I'll show you in a minute, because you will get some marks on it from wiping it with the paper towel. So what I do, I'll give it one more coat and then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the next step. Okay. Accelerator. Right, so I'll stop that, have a little look. I know you can't see from there, but there's a little bit of a bumpy surface, just a little bit, not a whole lot. So what I tend to do is take a Brillo pad like this or an abrasive pad and I will just very lightly go over it and you can feel it get smoother it's okay if you take a little bit off because we're gonna put some more back on it in a second it just lets the next few coats go on even smoother okay I'm happy with that I'm just going to wipe that off. You could use alcohol if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. So now I'm going to do another coat of CA. That's in the metal bucket. Give that accelerator. I'm going to give it four more coats. You can give it as many as you want, really. But it definitely helps if you have the accelerator. If you don't have the accelerator, then it's not gonna set as quickly as it is while I'm doing it here. And if you're using medium or thick CA, yeah, you're gonna have a problem too because it's gonna wanna drip and it's going to get thick and it's going to get bumpy 
and it's not going to go on smooth at all. That is the last coat that I'm doing. Give it a quick squirt of accelerator. Now you can see that. Again, it's got a little bit of texture to the surface that I want to smooth out. And I'm going to do that again with this abrasive pad, slow speed. Nice and light, you don't have to put a lot of pressure on it. And you can inspect that and take a look. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to use abrasive paste, Yorkshire Grit. And just a little bit, about that much on the corner. Slow speed and just work that in. Bringing the speed up. Okay, bringing it up to like 2400 right now. Turn the paper over. And you can see that is already really shiny. I don't see any imperfections in that. So, but what I usually do is I'll do a second round with Yorkshire Grit Original. Doesn't hurt. It's not necessary, but it gives you an even better finish. And you're not going to work through that CA now because you've got quite a few coats on there. Going to bring the speed up now. Okay. That is Yorkshire Grit Original done its job. And we got Yorkshire Grit Microfine. Another piece of paper towel. We'll do just one coat with Microfine because we're going to move on to the uh, the Beal Buffing System, which I absolutely love. Um, gives you a really nice, smooth, shiny finish. Even better than it is now. It's already spectacular. The more you do, the better it gets. Okay, that's Yorkshire Grip Microfine. Now that is super smooth and nice and shiny. I hope you can see that. There it is now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you into the next room where my bill buffer is. So I'm going to reset the camera. This has all been live so far. I haven't stop the camera. I'm just going to stop the camera to take this all apart and then I'll be right back. Something I did forget to mention is I just took it off of this and you can get the nylon bushings to replace these when you do the CA finish. Personally I don't find it to be an issue if you get a little bit of CA on here. As you can see there's nothing on there that's going to create an issue for the next turn. Uh, in fact I'm going to be turning another one as soon as this is done. So this is the blank, it is now turned, beautiful piece of figured walnut, but the ends, because I used CA, there's always a little bit of extra glue on the ends. So I'll take a piece of uh, 400, if I can find it, I just had it, there it is, a little piece of 400 lay it flat on the bed of the of the lathe and I'll take the end of this just do a couple of circles on each side and that is just to flatten those ends so that when I put the uh, pen together there's nothing that's going to prevent it from closing properly so I'm going to go into the next area and do the bill buffing this is the bill buffing system. It consists of three buffing wheels and uh, three bars of wax. 
the first one being uh, tri Tripoli, second one being White Diamond, and the third one being Canuba Wax. So you have to load these up with wax every now and again. You should really do it each time, but because you're only doing a very small piece, um, it's not going to use all of the wax that you load it up with. So I am going to put a face mask on with a respirator. These are abrasive waxes or, uh, and they can get into your respiratory and, and in your eyes and that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be fun. So I'm going to put my AirShield Pro on. And you've got to be real careful with this because obviously you're holding a very small piece and it could throw it and I have had it thrown before so I keep my finger here that's what I do uh, there are other ways of doing it but that's what I do and then I do one half and then I turn it around and do it the other half and I do that a couple of times I normally have the light on but it's gonna just uh, blind you out so uh, let's do this and the speed you want is under 900 rpm no faster And that is that is done. Now what we're going to do is move on to uh, assembling the pen. Possibly one of the easiest pen kits to uh, put together because basically all you have to do is push the blank between these two pieces and then you can take the tip off and put the ink refill with the, uh, with the uh, spring into it. So basically uh, you don't have to think too hard about this because both sides are the same. Basically put that together there and squeeze. Just make sure these are lined up perfectly. If they're not, these can break. The wood can split if you're not careful. So that's that put together. Now we have to put the the end on now this one if you see this clip is longer than the end of the pen so I've got to be careful so I'm just gonna set it in place so it lines up and push them together like that that's the pen put together now We'll just take the tip off put the ink in with the uh, spring and then screw the tip on and again this is the bolt action so there's the nib
and that is it that pen is complete I'll leave a couple of photographs at the end so you can check it out but if you uh, have been wondering or if you've been having problems about doing a CA finish and how to get the best possible results this is how I do it and I'm very satisfied with the results that I get so give it a try so that's the pen on the turntable with the mirror the light shining on the pen so you can see the smooth glossy finish that you get and that finish is very durable so this pen will last a long time well I went ahead and turned four pens all with a CA super glue finish from Starbond that's a uh, figured warner on the left it's uh, resin with a pine cone the second one and the third one is elm no that's not that's you that's you is the third one and the fourth one is Honduras rosewood and the CA finish just makes it a really durable nice shiny finish Thank you guys for watching and take care.